Hello everybody and welcome to Kingdom of Heaven Ministries International. My name is Prabhupada Chalaya. And I'm Cynthia Chalaya. Welcome to another Sunday. So we had a good week this week. Amen. Uh, it was a bit busy but it was alright. Yeah. Okay, I hope you all had a good week as well. Mm -hmm. And you are enjoying Shabbat. Mm -hmm. Okay, rest. Mm -hmm. um, so we have been uh, preaching on the Kingdom of Heaven mm -hmm. for this is the seventh week now. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, and we're going to talk about um, authority. In the, yeah, in the okay. kingdom, okay. So we started off by establishing the fact that um, we are all part of a kingdom, whether mm -hmm. we like it or we uh, we mm -hmm. don't like it. Okay, mm -hmm. we're all part of a kingdom, mm -hmm. and uh, we are citizens of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom will supply all of our needs. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have been drilling on mm -hmm. um, the advantage of being the citizen of this kingdom past mm -hmm. two weeks, yeah. right? And then last week, we touched a little bit on authority. Mm. So this week, we're going to dive deeper into authority. Mm. No, last week, we were talking about citizens. Uh, citizens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we touched a little bit a on little authority bit, yeah. at the end. Mm. Mm. And then we said we'll continue more this week. Mm. Okay, uh, and it's a very important subject. Mm. So Prabhupada is going to bring the word today. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pray for him. Amen. Okay, mm. so let's set our hearts upon mm. the Lord. Mm. Father God, we thank you for this day. We bless your holy mm. name. We praise you and we worship you. Mm. Father, we thank you for the words that you have mm. already sent forth, Lord God, this morning. Mm. Thank you, Father God, for preparing our hearts to receive your word. Mm. Lord God, we consecrate this time to you in the name of Jesus. Mm. We pray, Lord God, Father, that you will speak through us whatever it is that you want to speak to us, Lord God, in mm. Jesus' name. Mm. Holy Spirit, have your way. We welcome you mm. in the name of Jesus. We sanctify, we, we consecrate this time to you in Jesus' mm. name. We pray, Lord God, that your words will fall on fertile ground this Amen. morning. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless mm. the Lord. Oh my soul. Bless His holy mm. name. All that is within me, amen. bless His holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, this is a very important uh, topic mm. uh, that many body of the Christ mm. are not aware of. Many mm. churches. The established churches may not teach you this. Mm. Mm. Many established churches may not teach you the mm. authority the, mm. the, uh, you have mm. as a children or a child of God. Mm. Amen. Mm. Okay, but mm. this is very important mm. because as soon as you become a Christian, mm. the enemy mm. puts a target on you. Okay, mm. especially mm. those who are learning and seeking to know mm. God. Uh, mm. even more deeply mm. okay mm. Uh, the enemy doesn't want any of us to know mm. God mm. to to uh, let alone to serve God mm. amen mm. so we need to know that Jesus mm. as part of his salvation as, as part of his death and resurrection mm. he has secured authority for mm. his children hallelujah mm. for the children of God for his uh, for mm. his uh, the body of Christ because Jesus is our brother he's a firstborn of all creation mm. okay mm. God is our Father, Jesus, our Messiah, our Lord, our brother, mm. firstborn. Amen. Mm. Praise the Lord. So, mm. in the Garden of Eden, mm. okay, mm. We, we all know that Adam and Eve, they gave their authority, their dominion, the power to mm. uh, Satan. Not knowingly, but when they disobeyed God. Mm. When they disobeyed God, basically, the, 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 uh, the enemy, Satan, the devil, mm. came to steal, kill and destroy. Mm. It stole the dominion. Mm. It stole the authority that mm. God gave Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. As soon as God created them, God mm. said in mm. Genesis 1, 28, okay, mm -hmm. He said, Then God blessed them. Mm. Mm. And God said to them, Be mm. fruitful and multiply. Mm. Fill the earth and subdue it. Fill the earth. Mm. Talking about everything in the earth. Mm. Fill the earth. That means multiply mm. okay have children mm. fill the earth and subdue it hallelujah mm. have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air over the over every living thing that moves on the earth mm. every living thing that moves over the earth amen mm. okay when you read the bible when you mature in 
uh, your work with Christ, you will know that mm. here it also uh, referring to the various kingdom of the enemy. Okay, that mm. is a marine kingdom. Okay, mm. there's a kingdom of the principality of the air mm. uh, because the devil is called the prince of air. Mm. Okay, and uh, also the 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 beast. Mm. You know, mm. the Bible calls the bulls of Bashan. Mm. Okay, the mm. dogs. That's who are which, mm. who are these? These are the demonic spirits mm. uh, that 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 comes and attacks the children of God. Mm. Amen. Mm. You read the Psalms; it's all in there, brothers and sisters. Mm. So God mm. had actually given us dominion. He gave this dominion to uh, Adam and Eve, mm. and this dominion should have followed through mm. to the to his uh, descendants. Mm. But what happened? They lost the authority and the dominion to mm. the enemy. Amen. Right. But Jesus came. Mm. Jesus came and defeated the enemy on mm. the cross. Hallelujah. Mm. And the Bible says that he took captivity captive and mm. gave gifts yes. to mm. men. Hallelujah. That is mm. in Ephesians 4 verse 8. Mm. So Jesus mm. came and destroyed mm. the work of the enemy. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. The Bible says Jesus mm. came to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Why? Mm. He started the work and then he said, mm. Behold, I give you authority mm. to trample on snakes and scorpions. Mm. Snakes and scorpions are the references to the demonic spirits. Amen. Hallelujah. In, in uh, mm. Luke uh, 10, 19. Mm. Behold, I give you authority to mm. trample on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, all mm. the power of the enemy, and nothing by shall any means harm you. Mm. Brothers and sisters, mm. Jesus wouldn't have uh, told us about this unless there is a threat. Mm. from the mm. kingdom of darkness amen. amen okay but the church they they shy away from this because they themselves do not understand many of them i don't blame them they were not taught in mm. this area mm. they, they were taught to take communion and bless everybody mm. okay mm. i'm not mm. saying taking communion is wrong mm. taking communion is very important in fact mm. cynthia you know really uh, uh, uh encourages okay myself and everybody mm. to take communion as often as possible that is truth mm. okay mm. And in fact, recently she was sharing, somebody mm. was sick and uh, mm. uh, the Lord told her to take communion every hour and every she hour. was healed. Yes. Okay. Mm. So communion is not wrong, but mm. we cannot stop and, uh, to communion. We have to go even deeper, mm. even higher mm. to have the knowledge, pursue the knowledge of the Lord. Mm. Amen. Mm. Because the Bible says, with, uh, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. I think it's going back to, you know, the mm. scripture in First Peter, isn't it? Mm. First Peter 2, 9. Amen. You know, we've been drilling on that for mm. a few weeks now. Amen. Um, so First Peter 2, 9 says, mm. Uh, but, but you, you are, are a chosen, chosen generation, generation. Mm. a royal priesthood, mm. a holy nation, mm. his holy special people. Amen. Okay, his own special people, mm. that you may proclaim the praises of him mm. who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. So this is going back to Colossians 1 13, where we've Amen. been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the light, uh, you know, the kingdom of uh, light. Son of his love. A son of his love. Mm. Okay. So once we believe in Jesus Christ, mm. okay, straight away you become a chosen generation, mm -hmm. a royal priesthood, mm. a holy nation, mm. his own special people. Amen. Okay, we're doing a devotional now. Mm. So in Exodus, mm. God's plan, you know, mm. it's just, um, I would say it's, mm. it's, um, it's, it's awesome, you know, when you read the Old mm. Testament, mm. okay, God's plan from the beginning of time mm. has always been to establish a people called by His name. Amen. You know, mm. He always wanted to establish a people mm. with with the uh, as as a priest mm. and as kingdom as, of priests. Yeah, kingdom of priests priest unto Him, yeah. unto Him. Mm. And this is going back to Moses's time. Amen. You that know? that was His mm. original plan. That's His original yeah. plan. You know, Amen. and that is why He was so uh, strict. You know, when He told the people, even mm. when they went into the promised land before going in mm. don't intermarry mm. don't even mention the names of foreign gods from your name Amen. this is in exodus 23 you know mm. he gave them the angel to go for told them oh, oh you know listen to his angel and you know, all these things mm. So God was so strict because He always wanted a people to be established in His name. Yeah, you know? Deuteronomy mm. 28, mm. Uh, the first uh, verse until 14, mm. Mm. it talks about the blessings and one of it probably was mm. 4. Mm. It says, those who do not know you will call you by the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 In Amen. fact, uh, recently, 
Uh, mm. A tablet of stone was found in Egypt uh, dating back few thousand years ago. Mm. Okay, and it says in the tablet, because these people God. who are called by the name of their God. Mm. Amen. Yahweh. Amen. Praise the Lord. So whatever God Amen. said mm. actually came to pass. Mm. Amen. Amen. So, mm. so uh, this is what we are saying. Mm. God gave us authority. The mm. enemy took, but mm. Jesus mm. took it back for us. And mm. he said, Behold, I give you authority to trample mm. on snakes and scorpions, mm. who are all the power of the enemy and nothing but shall any means mm. harm you. Mm. And he said that he mm. took captivity captive and gave gift to man. What he did? Mm. He established apostles, uh, uh, apostles, uh, mm. prophets, mm. Uh, pastors, uh, uh, evangelists mm. and 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 uh, t teachers mm. why to establish the 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 body of Christ and to teach them mm. the mm. word of God to teach them the truth of the kingdom of God so that each and every one of us mm. will know mm. that we have authority we have power we have mandate from the Lord of Lords from uh, and the King of Kings to advance His kingdom on us as it is in heaven mm. brothers and sisters yeah. these are mm. what is required to be preached at the pulpit amen mm. amen let's read from revelation 1 6 it says mm. god has made us kings and priests amen to his god and father mm -hmm. to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen, amen. praise the lord amen. praise the lord so dominion has been given to us amen okay authority has been given to us but the amen. devil stole it through deception amen. okay in the garden amen but when jesus came he gave us back that authority he yes. said go and cleanse the lepers go and do this go and do that you know mm. do advance the kingdom of earth why amen. because i have given you authority amen. to trample on snakes and scorpions amen. And all the power of the enemy this this has been as cynthia said mm. has been the original plan of god mm. okay for mm. god to take us mm. as a uh, uh, 1 Peter 2 9 mm. from kingdom of darkness mm. into his marvelous light mm. okay mm. this even this was prophesied mm. in the Old Testament mm. uh, in the book of uh, Psalm Psalm 23 mm. okay mm. Let, let's quickly read mm. Psalm 23 mm. brothers and sisters that is that is uh, in fact I've preached a sermon on this mm. the revelation from Psalm 23 mm. okay I'll, yeah, I'll okay. put the put the link uh, mm. uh, let me read mm. okay mm. see once you have accepted Jesus Christ mm. as your Lord and Savior, He becomes your shepherd. He becomes Amen. your leader. He becomes your Messiah. He mm. becomes your Savior. He becomes your King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Okay? Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Okay? Now you accepted Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. You will not lie. I shall not want. Mm. Amen. Mm. And He, what He does, okay? He makes you lie down in green pastures. What? What He does? He said, Mm. All those who are very and heavy laden, come unto me, and I will give you what rest. Take my yoke upon yourself and learn from me. Mm. Amen. Mm. So what he does, he makes you lie down in green pastures. He makes you rest. Mm. He leads you beside the still waters. Okay. Mm. Just like he took the uh, Israelites out of Egypt and mm. brought them into the wilderness to mm. give them rest mm. and also push Egypt out of them. Mm. Amen. Mm. By giving the manna from heaven. Mm. Amen. Mm. So this is what he's doing over here in Psalm 23. Mm. And what he does, he restores your soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. So what he does, he mm. takes you mm. as his own. He gives you rest. Okay. Mm. He teaches all the things that you need to do, mm. need to know. And then he restores. Mm. Okay. Because there are many uh, soul traumas hurt and all that in many people because mm. you were in the kingdom of darkness and and you didn't know mm. that the enemy has been abusing your soul in many different ways it's sickness diseases accusation and all that mm. so jesus had to restore your soul mm. amen mm. and then what he does he prepares you for war this is what you're talking about today mm. authority mm. then yea though you walk through the valley of shadow of death i Mm. Sorry, yea, though I walk to the valley of shadow of death, I will not fear evil. Mm. For you are with me. God said, I will mm. never need, leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you all the days of your life. Amen. Mm. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. His authority, mm. his authority, his rod, his staff mm. will 
comfort me. Hallelujah. Mm. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. That means mm. you will be so confident that you will not even worry about your enemy because your authority against the enemy is greater. Hallelujah. Mm. The power that you have over mm. the mm. enemy is greater. So he prepares a table before mm. me in the presence of my enemies. Mm. You anoint my head with oil. Mm. Where do we find this anointing head uh, with oil? Mm. When King David mm. was anointed. Why? We are all kings and priests as mm. G uh, Cynthia just read yeah. in uh, Revelation 1.6. Mm. We are in the kingdom of priesthood. Mm. God anoints our head as kings. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Mm. And then, surely, once you have defeated the enemy, mm. surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, mm. and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Once you have done your, your, your work that God has called you to do in this world, mm. God will take you into mm. His house, and mm. you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mm. This is the summary of a Christian life mm. that God has planned for all of us, mm -hmm. for us to be warriors in the kingdom of God. Mm. But many people do not uh, realize this. They mm. just read as, oh, this is a song to the Lord. But there is a lot of depth. Mm. Hallelujah. I've even el el elaborated further in one of my sermons. I'll try and link it uh, below within this video. Amen. Mm. So, mm. God prepared us. Hallelujah. Mm. Okay, for battles. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, let me see. Yes. Mm. We, we have covered uh, Luke 10, 19. Mm. Let's look at Ephesians 6, 12. What does it say? Mm. Okay. You see, God in the scriptures, many places in scriptures, He has given us mm. uh, armors. Mm. He, he said, He is our stronghold. He mm. is our strong tower, our high tower, our refuge, our fortress, our shield, our buckler in whom we put our trust. Mm. Why do we need all these protections if we are not in a battleground or battle zone? Mm. Think about it, brothers and sisters. Mm. We are in a battlefield that mm. we mentioned in the uh, first uh, sermon in mm. the kingdom of heaven, I believe. Mm. We are in a battlefield because there is kingdom of darkness and kingdom of light. We are mm. in the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness doesn't like us mm. and doesn't want us to save people because we ourselves mm. have been taken out from kingdom of darkness. Okay, mm. And the enemy doesn't want to lose us. So the enemy wants us wants to pull us back mm. to it uh, trickery, wild deceits, and all that. The lust of the flesh, lust mm. of the eyes, and the pride of life. Mm. Amen. Mm. Uh, wants to take us back, but God wants to cleanse us and mm. give us authority and to have dominion and to really destroy the works of the enemy. Amen. Mm. Let's mm. turn to Ephesians six verse twelve onwards. Mm. Amen. Praise the Lord. You want to read yeah, that? Yeah. For we do not wrestle against flesh. Amen. And blood, but Amen. against principalities, mm. against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, mm. against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Praise the Lord. Amen. Therefore, mm. take up the whole armor of God, Amen. that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, mm. and having done all, to mm. stand. Mm. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth. Amen. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness mm. and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm. Above all, taking the shield of faith mm. with which you will be able to quench the, all the fiery darts of the wicked one mm. and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm. You see, brothers and sisters, mm. there are a lot to unpack from these mm. uh, scriptures mm. here itself. Mm. Okay, Because it says here, uh, verse 16, Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Hallelujah. Mm. If, mm. brothers and sisters, hallelujah, praise the Lord. If you know us, you will know. Okay, uh, we would have um, shared a lot, uh, those who are close to us, those mm. who join our Bible class mm. and uh, those we, uh, ring, who ring us, mm. you know, for mm. praise and all that. Mm. We have shared with them how much the enemy attacks. Mm. Okay, when they say the fiery dart, the Bible is not lying. Okay, the enemy shoots arrows, mm. yeah. fiery mm -hmm. darts mm. at, uh, at, at the children of God. 
and a lot of things that you may be experiencing now may not have its origin in the physical realm from the mm. physical realm mm. it has its origin in the spirit realm because you are children of god the enemy mm. hates you mm. and the enemy wants to take you down enemy doesn't want you to fulfill the purposes and the will of god in your life mm. so therefore here mm. clearly uh, Paul is saying, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, mm. against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness. Mm. If you understand the word wickedness, you will, you will, you will get frightened now. Mm. But mm. God has given us dominion and authority over this. Okay? They are mm. not good people. Mm. They mm. are bad, very, very bad people. Mm. They are, they are aim is to destroy the children of God. Mm. So therefore, we need to realize this, that we have an enemy mm. who hates us with a passion. So therefore, we need to take the word of God. We need to believe the word of God that we are under attack. Therefore, we need to protect ourselves. How? Mm. Take up the whole armor of God mm. that we may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Paul, here it says, in the evil day. Paul says the day are evil. The days are evil. The days are evil. Mm. That means every day the enemy is trying to mm. pull us down. Mm. You need to put the armor of God on daily basis. What mm. we do, mm. every morning when you wake up, we put on the armor of God. Every evening we mm. put on the armor of God. Mm. Because the enemy also comes into your dreams to attack you. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Stand therefore, verse 14, having girded your waist with truth. What is truth? The word of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness, righteousness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Having mm. shot your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above mm. all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench every fiery darts of the wickedness without which brothers and sisters the enemy will attack you. So you need the shield of faith. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And take the helmet of salvation because the enemy attack your mm. mind. The attack takes place in the mind first. Just like when the enemy, uh, Satan, took Jesus in, in Mark chapter 4 and said, If you're the son of man, son of God, can you change this stone into bread? bread? Mm. It attacks your mind. You see, the enemy is attacking the identity. The enemy is testing whether you know that you are a mm. son or daughter of God. Because if you are son or daughter of God, you should have this ability to change the stone into bread. Mm. You have the ability, mm. okay, because mm. I don't want to go into detail, but mm. you uh, listen to my sermons, okay, mm. Mm. but you do not want to test God mm. by uh, satisfying the demands of the enemy. No, when mm. the enemy comes against you, okay, you attack the enemy with the mm. word of God. Mm. Amen. Mm. Okay, that's what Jesus said. The enemy came, the, did enemy came against Jesus, Jesus gave the enemy the, the, word, of the word of God. The written word of mm. God. Amen. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Whatever the enemy came and uh, asked Jesus, mm. right, mm. all of those were truths. Mm. If you are the son of God, mm. you can jump down. The, the, the Bible says the angels will come and uh, mm. bear you up. up. Mm. Amen. That's mm. true. That's, that's in, the, in the word of God in yeah. Psalm 91. 91. And you know, mm. since you were talking about the arrows and all that, mm. it's in Psalm 91 as well. Mm. Mm. Because he says, You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, mm. nor the arrow that flies by day, Amen. nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, mm. nor the destruction that lays waste in one day. Mm. So this is how the enemy attacks. Okay. Mm. So if you know how the enemy attacks, you mm. must also know as you have the identity in mm. his kingdom, Amen. as a citizen of his kingdom, Amen. you have been given authority. That's right. Right. Okay, yeah. so that that's the key point. Mm. Okay, we need to understand mm. we have the authority. Amen. You have yeah. to treat the enemy as though he's a snake in your house, mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. So if a snake enters your house, what Amen. would you do? Would you just leave the snake no, there? No way. Let it be there. It's all right. You know, no. it'll just stay in its own boundary. Yes. No. no. What would you do if you have a scorpion or a snake in your house? You look for a stick and whack the head. You will kill it. You will kill it. Okay. So that is how we have to take authority over the enemy. Yes. Okay. You cannot let the enemy go mm. until you beat it to dust. Mm, okay, amen. until you beat it to dust. Okay, amen. and don't uh, think that you don't have the authority. Okay, mm. to do it, mm. you have the authority, but put on the armor first. Mm. Okay, amen. before you go into battle. Okay, don't go into battle mm. uh, naked. You know, mm. with no protection whatsoever. Mm. Okay, and then you go and you will get beaten by dust like amen. a dust. Okay. <laughs> no. 
uh, that's true, uh, brothers and sisters, mm. because a lot of people mm. they are interceding and praying mm. for others, but they themselves haven't girded themselves with the armor of God. Mm. That is very important. Mm. Okay, Jesus Himself first before He prayed for others, He prayed for Himself. That's okay? true. There's one thing that I have to say because mm. intercessors they pray a lot for others, mm. right? But they don't pray for themselves. Mm. You know, they don't pray enough for themselves. Enough for themselves, yeah. okay? You, as an intercessor, if you are called as an intercessor, watchman on the wall, mm. you must pray for yourself more mm. than anybody else mm. because you are the watchman on the wall. Amen. If the arrow comes first, mm. who's going to get hit first? Yes. The watchman on the wall will get hit mm. first, mm. okay? Even in, in modern warfare, brothers and sisters, if you are aware of this, okay, what the, the, the first thing the enemy... Uh, the attacking enemy does is take the communication uh, centers first. Mm. Why? They are the one who are communicating the strategies and all that. Mm. So those who are praying, interceding for uh, others, they mm. are the one who will be targeted by the enemy. Mm. So therefore, you need to put on the full armor of God. And don't be afraid because Jesus said, Behold, I give you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions mm. over all the power mm. of the enemy and nothing but shall any means harm you. Mm. But mm, nevertheless, brothers and sisters, mm. You need to t go uh, step by step. Mm. You do not take on Goliath before mm. you wrestle with bears right, and right. lions. Okay, mm. you need to wrestle with the bear and lion before you go against Goliath. Mm. And after Goliath, then you can go into principalities, powers, mm. and you know mm. spiritual wickedness mm. in the mm. heavenly places. Because even in Ephesians six, when mm. you read, there's a hierarchy that mm -hmm. you got principalities, you mm. got rulers of darkness, you've mm. got spiritual wickedness, you mm. know, and all these things. Mm. So that is the hierarchy in the kingdom of darkness Amen. right the devil never creates anything he perverts everything that god has created mm. so mm. paul is revealing the hierarchy in the kingdom of darkness Amen. so if they have a hierarchy mm. we also have a hierarchy mm. okay so when we intercede and all that mm. we follow the hierarchy mm. okay i want just to under read because it's what we discussed earlier mm. ephesians 1 18 mm. to 22 mm -hmm. Okay, it says, The eyes of your understanding being mm. enlightened, mm. okay, that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Amen. Okay, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Mm. Okay, so we have an inheritance, okay? Mm. He's talking about inheritance. So what is the inheritance? That we will realize what the inheritance is and what is the exceeding greatness of his power mm. towards us who believe mm. according to the working of his mighty power. Mm. What goes on, okay? Paul goes on to say, which he worked in Christ. Christ, mm. when he Verse raised 20. him, yeah. yeah, when he worked in Christ, when he raised him from mm. the dead mm. and seated him mm. at his right hand in the heavenly places, mm. okay, Amen. now far above all principality and powers mm. and might mm. and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age mm. but also that which is to come. Amen. And what did he do? He put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things of the church, to Amen. the church. Yeah, which is, and which is his body, mm. the fullness of him who fills all in all. So Amen. we are called to fulfill all in all. Amen. Why? Let's look at Ephesians 2.5. Mm. Then he says, even when we were dead in trespasses, he mm. made us alive together with Christ. Mm. This is our identity. We mm. are alive in Christ. Mm. By grace, you've been saved. Mm. And raised us up together, our identity, okay? Mm. We've been raised up together and made us to sit together in the heavenly mm. places in Praise Christ God. Jesus. Amen. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace mm. in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Mm. For by grace, we've been saved through faith and not by ourselves. It's the gift of God. Praise the Lord. Look at So we have been raised. We are seated in heavenly places. In Christ. In Christ. Hallelujah. Whether you feel it or not, mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. we are seated in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Okay. You may wake up in the morning. You may not feel mm -hmm. like a king and a priest. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you are seated in heavenly places right now. Amen. Okay. And whatever we do, mm -hmm. we do it because we are in him. Yes. And we are in him. And what has been given to him? Mm -hmm. All dominion. Mm -hmm. Of what? Mm -hmm. Above all principalities, mm -hmm. powers, might, dominions, and every name that is named Amen. doesn't matter, okay, what name the demon has. Amen. 
whether it is Praise in the, the past Lord. or in the future, if mm. it comes up with a new name, whatever, mm. okay, in ages to come, whatever name, it has all been put under His feet. Amen. And okay? we are in Him. So Amen. therefore, everything that Jesus has, mm. we have also because we operate in whose name? In His name. Mm. At the name of mm. Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. We, we, we really, really hope mm. that you mm. take this in and mm. meditate, mm. not only uh, having mm. uh, head knowledge, but heart knowledge. Mm. Let this be as a revelation. Then you know where mm. you are, whose you are, mm. and what authority and power that you have. Uh, brothers and sisters, mm. God has called all of us, okay? Mm. Jesus, when he first time and went into his synagogue, he mm. said, the, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has mm. sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to open the prison door, prison, uh, mm. prison door to set the captive free, to, 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 to give mm. recovery of sight to, to the blind. This is the work that God sent Jesus to do and then Jesus asked us to do. Mm. Okay? To set the captive free, hallelujah, mm. and also fight a good fight of faith. Why? Mm. You see, everywhere mm. we turn, the scripture talking about fight, fighting, dominion, mm. armor, mm. you know, wrestling, mm. and all that. Why? Mm. We are in a battlefield, brothers and sisters. Mm. We need to realize this. Can mm. I, I hope that you understand. I hope you take mm. it in. Not mm. just watch this sermon as another sermon and then go and do uh, the other things, mm. but meditate and meditate uh, upon this. I think we have adequately established today that we have an enemy, mm. that we are under attack by the uh, kingdom of the enemy mm. and hence God has given us authority and dominion far above all principality, dominion, powers mm. and all Because that. we are in Him. Because we are in mm. Him. So next week, we're mm. going to continue with this. We're mm. going to further reinforce uh, our message today, uh, next week, mm. so that we can drill it in and we can look at mm. uh, various other scriptures, okay? Mm. There, there are scriptures which says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers. Uh, sorry, mm. uh, the weapons of our warfare, not carnal but mm. mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds. Mm. So we'll cover that next week so mm. that we can cover all the different aspects and make these uh, truths um, Applicable. 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 Yeah. It has to be applicable. Yes. Because most things are, you know, it becomes hate knowledge. Mm. It is not applicable. Amen. You know, faith without works is dead. Amen. It? Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Mm. So mm. we want to bring it to uh, an end. Mm. And I hope you really got something out of this uh, sermon. And also we would really encourage uh, you go back and uh, watch the previous sermons, mm. you know, from the seven weeks ago. And uh, then you, what we are trying to do is establish, slowly establish uh, the truth that we are in the kingdom of God and, and um, all the provisions, protection and our responsibility, our kingship, mm. our, our priesthood and everything. Okay, that you understand that this is the purpose of God and will of God in your life. Mm. Amen. 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 Okay. So today's um, sermon is mainly just to establish that we have the authority. Mm. Okay. Um, so we hope that you will have a blessed week. Amen. And we will see you next Sunday. Mm. So before we go, I'll read the Aaronic mm. blessing. Praise the Lord. Okay. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Mm. The Lord makes His face shine upon you mm. and be gracious towards you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and gives you His peace. And He shall put His name upon you and He shall bless you. Amen and Amen. amen. Go in peace. Have a blessed week and Shalom. We'll see you next Sunday. Shalom and bye now. Amen.